The objectives of this assignment are to identify functional protein domains, find homologous proteins by blast searches, and visualize 3D crystal structures of detergent enzymes. Assignment 4 makes use of the same Excel table that we've been working on, but we've added five additional rows. This time, we're going to search the NCBI database using the protein locus and search the protein database. This is the GenPEP view of the protein, similar to the GenBank view of DNA sequences, but now it's for amino acid sequences. Click on the Identify Conserved Domains. This shows protein sequences that are conserved among similar enzymes. Click on the domain to learn about its activity. The top line gives the protein domain, and then there's a short description of what that actually does. If you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see different organisms that have that same protein domain. Put the name of the domain into the spreadsheet. Some proteins have more than one domain, but you only need to show one of those. Last week, you used BLASTX to find protein sequences that were coded by DNA sequences. And this week, you're going to use BLASTP to find related protein sequences. You can run BLAST programs directly from the protein page by clicking the Run BLAST. The accession number containing the sequence is already entered into the search box. All you need to do is tell it what database to search. Last week, you searched the Reference Protein database. Now we're going to look at two more. First try the patented protein database. At the top you see the conserved protein domains again and then a list of proteins with similar amino acid sequences. What's unique about this database is that all of these proteins have been patented. Go to the first protein with less than 100 percent homology with the search protein and click on the accession. To find the patent holder you need to click on the patent enter the assignee of that patent into the table. Now go back to the search box and this time change the database to the protein database. This finds related proteins that have structurally identified domains. Go to the top hit in the description section and click on the accession allele. Complete the table with the PDB number, the number of amino acids, and the date of submission. Click on the Protein 3D structure, and this takes you to the Structural Summary MMDB page. This is a 3D picture structure of two proteins, the subtilisin in pink-red, and the inhibitor, greglin, which is in blue. These two proteins interact. Now to complete this assignment, you're going to need to download the CN3D program. So click on the Download CN3D and install it onto your computer. Once you've done that, you can see the 3D view of this structure. You can use your mouse to look at different views of these two proteins. The protein sequences are written, shown below, and you can mark particular amino acids and then see them in the 3D structure. You can imagine this is really useful for protein engineering. You can look at different views of this molecule tubes, wire, a ball and stick model, or the space field model. Use a different style for each of the four structures and save using File Export PNG. There should be four PNG files, each with a different structure formatted in a different style. Attach these to your homework assignments, and that's it for this week.